to the library with my boy. We're gonna go get some books to read. Have you guys noticed though that how how is everybody else's libraries? Because my local library, when I go there, there are exactly zero books that have to do with the kingdom of God. There are no literature to read to toddlers about the kingdom of God. I'm always wondering like, why is it every other book in this place, including inappropriate books for toddlers? But for some reason, I don't find one book if I want to read a book to him about a Bible story, I have to buy that book. So I'm going to I'm going to check it out today too. I'm going to look carefully, but believe me, I've <laughs> I've looked. And it's usually not. And I'll probably ask the librarian why they don't have any Christian books for kids. I'll let you guys know how my experiment goes. in the library about Jesus but they're all gone they got rid of all of them and if you go around this library you see books about all kinds of things spells witches every sort of nonsense you can think of but no books about Jesus it's crazy these right here, these are toddler literature. My first how to catch a witch. These are for toddlers. You are my magical unicorn. Now, if this is not crazy, then I don't know what is. The devil is just out, and now they are for our kids. How can this be a book for a toddler? Or a child. I don't understand. See that? Girl power. Feminist stuff. Very fairy tales. Fairy godmother, yes. They want you to put your children to sleep while reading to them about witches. Think about that. Craziness. Satanic. Demonic.
friends. There you go. The me I choose to be. This is doctrine of the devil. This is the satanic doctrine that says you, you be what you are or do what thy will, not what God wants you to do. It's what you want. And look at this. He's a conjurer. Imagine rams that aren't yet there. This is what they want for your children. Here's another one. I think the Bible is pretty clear about astrology. You don't need a man. You don't need a husband. No family. She can just be a powerful sister. Oh, look at that. There's one book about Jesus. Hallelujah. Just one. But we thank God for that. Right next to the life of Jesus. <laughs> I have to see my children. Okay, that's my job. everything but you get the gist all right guys thank you for coming to the library with us you guys saw how it was in there there are books about everything uh, every inappropriate thing uh, you can think of and there are many many more than what I was able to get on camera and show you guys but we saw one book about Jesus out of thousands of books in there uh, literally there's no section that's about Jesus and with the little kids toddlers little children young children they have so many books about witches about um, you know alternative lifestyle and being exactly who you want to be not who Jesus wants you to be not living the life that Jesus wants you to live but living the life that you want to live you do as you like it's all in there and you know they've taken the books about Jesus and all of that out of our libraries out of our schools out of everywhere and now we have huge problems and we wonder why we have huge problems that's because we have shoved Jesus into a box somewhere and closed the box and he's not He's not supposed to be part of our institutions, part of our lives. That's why we have the problems we do. So we just have to continue to push back. We have to continue to pray for our children. It's so important to pray for our children because the devil is after these children. They are opening them up to all sorts of things. And we have to pray and cover our children with the blood of Jesus. We have to pray and ask the Holy Spirit to fill them and to teach them and to keep them away from you know people that influence them or want to influence them in the wrong way. I always pray for my child and I pray and I say, Lord, arrest anybody and let your heavy hand of judgment rest on anybody who wants to come around him and influence him with any kind of negative demonic thing and, and all of that. So, you know, you just gotta, stand in the gap 
and fight that battle for our country, for our children, and for all of us. My child is getting fussy in the back, so I'll get back to him giving it attention. But anyway, catch you guys later. Bye.